What is up guys, Express Design here and I'm here with a Twitch asset pack. It looks very nice. You guys asked for it? I actually asked for a Twitch overlay, but then I thought let's do everything for Twitch, you know? So here we have a webcam um, overlay, a panel, and some follower subscriber donations and a starting asset, I guess. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is the the face cam. So let's start with the face cam. I'm gonna put it in right there. So the first thing you want to do is take a take a 1080 face cam or whatever your face cam ratio is. Whatever. I'm just gonna take this and duplicate that. Boom. So you have that. So the first thing that I did is uh, take my rectangle tool, like I, I, everyone does, and I just had a small little rectangle, not too big, something like this. Like that, and I filled it in with a dark uh, blue. If you want the same uh, color, just copy this, not too difficult, and just fill that in like that. And you have a nice, nice border. The next thing I did is um, I made a smaller one at the bottom, not too big, like that, and I filled that in with the same color. It's a bit out of the other one. There you go. I double click that. So I went to the gradient overlay and I picked a nice gradient. I picked this gradient, but you can do whatever gradient you want. See, this is nice gradients, nice gradients. Maybe I'll pick a different gradient like this, like the um, purple to blue one is a nice one. Like that, put it on, I put it on reverse. Uh, put it uh, aligned with layer and put it on zero and the scale on one, 150%. There you go, and you have a nice gradient effect. Next thing you want to do is make another rectangle, but to the left this time. And not too big. How big did I do the previous one? Yeah, not too big. The same. The same. And fill it in with a white color. Like that. I'm going to put it beneath the gradient stroke. And you're going to put your name in there or your logo. You can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to put name. And the font that I'm using today is Overgrow. I have used this font quite a lot now, but I like it a lot, so... And it fits, fits, it fits, I, I, I guess. I'm just gonna put it in, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. How I just select it and make it a bit smaller. There you go, and you have your name. But you can put your logo in there and it's uh, very easy. The next thing is your Twitter, YouTube, and your Instagram. Or you can do something else if you're, maybe your portfolio on the top of it, or I don't know. Okay, so you have your three icons. You can change the icons if you want. Don't really have to. And then you just type, just click and take a different font. Don't you don't want to do do a thick font. I I picked the the most basic font ever. I just put um, uh, Ariel um, bold, I think, and I just typed. I did a slash, and then I put um, the add sign, and then your name so that's your that's your name uh that would my ad on twitter would be at anexpress follow me on twitter very but thank you very much and make it a bit small but not too small because they still have to they still need to read it and shit come on move that there you go why is my twitter all bugged there you go and now just copy that and put it next to the youtube and there you go you have your your face cam. I think that li looks hella clean in my opinion. It looks hella clean. It's not too much going on there. It's still a face cam. It's, I don't, in my opinion, it doesn't need to be so much on it. It's just your name and your ads for Twitter and Instagram. That's it. If you want a more difficult uh, face cam, let me know and I'll I'll try something new. I'll try something uh, something epic. So the, the thing I like to do is I just made all of this and I put it in a separate map as face cam so you know what it is let's go over to the panels they're clean and they're nice in my opinion so the thing is I, what i'm gonna do is put them at the side again uh make a new layer and i have taken the rectangle tool again and i made a nice rectangle something like this then very nice take the same uh blue dark blue color again and fill that in then i 
uh, make a new layer and take a rectangle and fill that in with the white and just put it on the side and put it as a clipping mask on the dark blue rectangle. And how to do a clipping mask is uh, you press Alt and go over the middle of the layers and just click and it's a, it's a clipping mask. Then you want to take your logo, I just put the L as logo as here, I'm going to do the same thing now, just L. Put this, take the same color, so the dark blue, and I'm going to do the same font, so that was overgrow, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Take oh, this is this is really difficult with the um, background being white, so I'm going to change that. There you go. I do not like the rectangle. I think I'm going to make them a bit smaller. Yeah. I'm going to make them fit. Uh, this is the ah. I'm going to yeah. So now it's a square and not a rectangle, there you go. Put the L in the middle. Then I did a little plus icon, I don't know why, just... I think it fits. And then how I did that is make the go again with the rectangle tool, make a little one. And I'm gonna fill that up with the same color, so dark blue. I'm gonna deselect, uh, deselect is Ctrl D. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it, and then Ctrl T to turn it, and then... There you go, you have a little plus. Merge those two layers, so Ctrl E them. So select them both, the Ctrl E them. Then Ctrl T them again and make them a bit smaller and just put it in the, in the side. There you go, and you have a little plus icon. We'll put it a bit more there, there you go. Quite like that. Then I put the donation, where you can do support, you, well, you can do whatever you want on it. Follow, but I just did donation for the tutorial purpose. Donation, type donation. Uh, take a white color so you can really see it on top of the dark blue. They go and make it a bit smaller. Put donation, and then I made a, a couple uh, circles. I really f that fits team, but you can do rectangles, do triangle, triangles. You can do whatever. I'm just gonna do circles again because I think that fits the team, in my opinion. And just what you want to do is make a little circle, it's not that big, and take a color of your gradient. So I'm gonna take that blue. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fill it in. How you can fill it in is with the bucket tool like this. Just oop, fill that in. And I'm gonna move it a bit like that. I'm gonna um, take my my circle tool or whatever whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna make another circle right around here. I'm gonna take a different color, so maybe a darker blue. I'm gonna take a bucket tool and just click in it. There you go. And I'm going to do that two more times. So I'm gonna make one here. Yeah, one here. Take a different color, maybe more purple color. Take your bucket tool, or you can fill it in always with all backspace like that. Fill that in like that. All backspace, very handy. I'm gonna make a bigger one right there, and I'm gonna take another color of the gradient, so more purple, and I'm gonna do all backspace. And there you go. You have your donation panel. Also, I, I made the corners a bit roundish. So what I did is I duplicated the rectangle, put it on top of everything. Double clicked on that, put the opacity all the way down, and I put a stroke in. A stroke on the outside, maybe at a six. And the thing is, I made it a normal layer, so I rasterized layer type. So you select the area of the dark color, and then you right click and select via cut, so they're separate. You double click the area where it's dark blue, and you change the color to dark blue. Now I'm going to put it at the bottom of the circles, like that. There you go, and then your panel has a bit round edges. That's a great panel, in my opinion. Looks fantastic. I would click. I would do that. I would donate on your channel if you have a panel like this. Okay. The next thing is it's not. It's a, not really an overlay, but it's more like a your donations and your followers. I don't know how to, how to call that, but it's it's that. Look, it looks very nice in my opinion. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, the alerts, I guess it's, that's what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna make a circle, a little circle like that. I'm gonna fill it in with the dark blue again. Uh, there you go, fill it in with all backspace. Don't forget, all backspace, really handy. Okay, I don't need that, what the fuck. I'm gonna copy the circle and how I control J. <laughs> You need to know by now that it's Ctrl J to copy shit, okay? I'm gonna put them a bit outside and I'm gonna make a new layer. Take your rectangle tool and I'm going to do 
a rectangle in the middle of the two circles. So there you go, like that, and fill that in. And you have your little, your little thingy. I don't know how it's that called. And just merge all the layers, select them, Ctrl E them. You know the gist by now. So the thing I had, I'm gonna just make one, and then just gonna do the process again with the other two. The thing I did is uh, I made a heart icon for the followers. I didn't make him, I just stole it off the internet. I'm gonna do that again, I'm gonna just copy that, I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna change the gradient to my gradient that I'm using now, that is the purple to bluish. There you go, I'm gonna put everything back there, so it fits. Um, so I'm gonna make the heart a bit bigger because I made my panel a bit bigger, I guess. There you go, and then I put follower with the same font. Follower. Put follower. There you go, follower. Make it a bit smaller so everything fits on it. There you go, and also put a dash next to it, like that, there you go, I copied followers, so Control J that, and put it next to it, change the font to the basic font, so Ariel, just type username, because it's not your name, but the name that has followed you, make it a bit bigger, not too big, because some people have long names, and put it at the side, there you go, and also put some uh, little circles, on top of it, like I did with the panel, just make a little circle like that. Take the color, I'm gonna take this blue, and fill it in with your bucket or with all backspace. There you go. On the new layer, by the way, on the new layer. And then make another circle. I'm gonna make another circle here, there you go. Take the purple, and on the same layer, there you go. And you have your little overlay for the followers that follow you. There you go. This is the panels, and now we're going over to the starting screen. I'm going to open it. There you go. I'm gonna remove all of this and there you go. That's not it. There you go. I'm gonna re recreate this. So the thing is what you want to do is start with the dark blue. So make a new layer. Fill it in with the dark blue. There you go. Make a other new layer and take a color of your gradient. So I'm gonna take the I'll take the blue, there you go. I'm gonna remove that again. And make a big ass circle. A big ass circle. Like that, and fill that in with the bucket tool of all or all backspace. And you're gonna make okay, gonna take another color that I just the purple, there you go. Make a new layer, do another circle around at the side. Like that, fill that in. Okay, make take another color, so a darker blue. Make another new layer and take another circle and fill it in like that. There you go, now you have your circles. One thing, I'm gonna put that circle over there. Yeah. Now I'm going to start typing. So take your text tool, make your font a bit bigger, and type in starting or offline or. Yeah, offline. And make the text white. Make it bit bigger, a lot bigger, put it in the middle, like this, okay, copy it now, uh, rasterize the layer, so it's a normal layer, put it below the text, and put it a, put it a bit beneath it, take your brush tool and just do something like this, there you go, I quite like this, not gonna lie, I quite enjoy this. And then I just did some more circles in the left corner and did some coloring, I guess. Made some circles, so I'm gonna just make some quick circles here. There you go. Gonna merge those layers. I'll put it on top of there. A big ass brush. And I've taken the color of the gradient and I just click in the corner. Take in another color. And I click there on top and I've taken a white color and I've clicked in, in the left corner. There you go. Put your opacity a bit down. There you go. Now I um, want to put another circle around 
here, yeah, I'm gonna fill that in. I'm gonna double click on that. I'm gonna remove the opacity. I'm gonna put a stroke on that. A stroke with the color white. There you go. I'm gonna do the same thing. Make a new layer. Put a circle here. Fill that in. Double click on that. I'm gonna remove the opacity and put a stroke on that. There you go. And I'm gonna remove the opacity to 70, yes, yeah, 70. Around there. There you go. And there is your offline. There you go. And it's 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 quite nice. It's simple, but it's quite nice. Like how long did I have taken to make this? Not a long, but just you have to make more of this and more of this though. But that that's it. This is the Twitch asset pack. Uh, if this video hits, I don't know, say, can it hit 30 likes? Because it's not anime, I know, guys. Uh, but can it hit 30 likes? And I will put this on my store for free for like a couple, a couple of downloads, maybe 100, maybe 50, that you can use. So you don't have to make it. But if you want to make it yourself, just follow this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed this Twitch panel, Twitch stream assets. Uh, the 500 subscriber special is coming soon. I'm just making sure that everything is on point. I'm going to give away five banners. So yeah, um, just follow me on Twitter for whatever reason. Uh, look out for the 500 subscriber special. Um, that is going to be a, a banger, I hope. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stream asset pack that I made. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Do more if you want, and as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.